Um, so yeah, Nina, um, we talk a little bit about property and finance and them things. You told me you dabble in a little bit of property, is that yeah, right? Yeah, so I um, originally, I didn't um, when I met my children's father, he was renting a place in a place called Leicester and we moved into a nicer place called Market Harbour, which is when I met him. Um, and to cut a long story short, I wanted to make my dad proud. So maybe it wasn't the right reasons I was doing it. I was wanting to prove to him that I'm just as good as a boy. My father has a huge portfolio of houses. He owns over two to 300 houses. Wow. And um, growing up, regardless of the negative things in my life, I was the one who would often help with bookkeeping, ordering beer and things from the brewery from a really young age because I spoke well. Um, even though I didn't have the interaction with them, I was still learning. You still absorb what you're around. And my father was a very acute businessman um, to get to where he's got to today. Um, or those morals I don't agree with and I'm not condoning his behavior. But he, um, I wanted to be that boy that he'd be proud of because obviously he didn't like me because I was a girl. Mm -hmm. So when I moved and had my daughter, my instinctive thing was to provide for her. Mm -hmm. And I went from you know having nothing to having a mobile phone business to renting a property. And then I wanted to buy that property because my father always said, you should never rent. And I was really good at negotiating. I negotiated that property for 8000 at the time. 8000 8, well, It was It's a small that? shop. It's a small shop in Leicestershire. I mean, it's worth probably over 300000 now, but I haven't got it, unfortunately. <sighs> but, um, and then I bought a house because I saw the, you know, I could see a, a vision of a house that was on the corner, obviously, with a lot of land behind it, land on the side. So it was a really beautiful plot overlooking fields. And I had this vision of, duplicating the house which I did and I turned it into an eight bedroom house um with a double garage it was it's really nice um and again I saw a property next to me I had this vision that I'd own the whole street at one point and there's nothing wrong with aiming high um and I asked the post office who was selling that property can I rent your property with an agreement in the lease that I can buy it for the same price you're asking for it now because I knew that would give me time to get that money together and I bought that property for 250000 and now it's worth, now that I've put some building um, applications just gone through, it'll be worth um, just one point two for the building that I've put through, and the bottom part's probably worth about eight hundred. So, wow. So you got an option lease agreement. Yeah, like a which didn't exist. It didn't <laughs> exist, but I created it with the agent, yeah. Wow, do you know these are actually strategies used by some of the top property gurus right now that they show you how to do these things and... You didn't, you, I didn't, didn't know. you didn't even know what you were doing. Didn't apart know what from, I was doing. I want to buy it later. I'll sort your payments out right now. Yeah. And later on, when I, I fall in love with buildings. I love architecture and I love okay. old buildings. And it was a real prominent building in the town centre of Market Harbour, which is like one of the best places to live, according to Google. <laughs> you know, it's literally an hour away from London. The property is a walking distance from the station. You know, I had it all in my head from 30, 40 years ago in my head what I was going to do. So, yeah, it was just a really beautiful building and I, I just wanted it so much that I was willing it to happen, not knowing how I would. But I, I always have this theory that if you want something really bad, you'll find a way, you'll find a solution. And I did. I, I managed to get, I remortgaged my home. Um, I got an additional loan from the bank and I got credit cards and I made it happen. Made it happen. You played about. I bought it for one hundred and fifty. That building. <laughs> Brilliant.